Hey there and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a video kind of taking you through a couple of my samples that I have and talking about them and then telling you whether or not I would purchase the fragrance based on the sample. I've seen a couple of people try out samples and do reviews off of samples and I just thought it might be interesting to kind of combine those two things, talk about the samples themselves and the fragrances because I haven't shown you them in my fragrance collection series because I, didn't, I don't really count them as part of being in my collection. But I think it's also interesting to see if whether someone would purchase a fragrance based on a sample and I've definitely done that before. Some of my favorite fragrances uh, throughout the years have been purchases that I've had after I've gotten a sample. So I have a whole bunch. I think I could probably make four videos off of these uh, if I make it into a series because I want to have enough time to talk about each fragrance with you guys. So just let me know if you like these kind of videos. But the first one is actually from the house of Parfume de Marly and this is Nisean. And when I bought Delina a while ago now, uh, they sent me this sample and at first I was kind of disappointed because I wanted a sample of a fragrance that I already was thinking about buying next from the line and Nisean's actually, while all their fragrances are technically unisex, uh, I believe this is from the men's line in that the bottles are different. They don't look like the Delina bottles, they look like the men's fragrance bottles. But in the end, I actually ended up happy that they sent me this one because this is not one that I would ever have bought if I didn't get a sample. So the notes in Nisean are incense, resin, cedar, patchouli, leather, and milky notes. And it is an extremely masculine scent. However, I love it. I do wear some scents that are marketed towards men or unisex. You do have to like quote unquote masculine fragrances. This does not smell in any way, shape, or form feminine to me. But I think if you like it and you like these kinds of notes, then why not? I think this is definitely a fragrance that I would love to smell on a man. It's very strong and mysterious and really resinous. I think the note that I get that's most prominent in this for me are those incense resins. It's so, I don't know, it's just so beautiful, that incense and it's resinous and it's rich and deep the patchouli does not get weird. I've worn this a couple times. The leather is beautiful. The leather is is not, I don't know, plasticky or like burnt leather that you can get in some fragrances. It's just, it's just rich and deep. And even as it starts to wear off on your skin, it still stays strong and it lasts forever. It's definitely beast mode, even with this little sample. But you do get those milky notes right at the end as it's kind of wearing off in like the fifth or sixth hour on your skin. It gets kind of milky and a little bit softer and mellows out just a tad. However, this is really much or very much a fragrance that I would wear in the fall of winter or colder months. Um, it can choke you out quite easily, I would, I would guess, in higher heat. It's a very strong and rich and spicy fragrance. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this in the spring and summer. I wouldn't recommend this if you wear, if you live somewhere where it's very hot and humid most of the time, but it is very beautiful. And had I not gotten a sample, I wouldn't think about purchasing this really ever based on the notes. And while I don't think, I still don't think this would be my second purchase from the house because there are so many other fragrances that I think I'd like to try first. This is one that if I found a deal on it or if I was gifted it, I would love. Um, and I would like to actually own a bottle one day. So then the second one is actually Eau Rose by Diptyque. And this one will spray, to kind of refresh our memory. And yeah, this one has bergamot, black currant, lychee, jasmine, geranium, rose, uh, Virginia cedar musk and white honey and it's beautiful this I think you can kind of guess from the name Oros is a very rose watery floral scent I think if you don't like rose you will not like this fragrance that is clear however 
there are more layers to it. You do get that bergamot, you do get a little bit of that sweet, tart lychee, and uh, you get musk and you get white honey. It's kind of like a sweet, rose watery, slightly citrus fr fruity fragrance. It's really, really nice. If you have ever used kind of rose water eau de colognes or rose water sprays, that just takes me right back to my childhood. Rose water sprays and rose water in general just really, really reminds me of my childhood. So this is in some way very nostalgic for me. I really like this kind of scent, but I know that there are definitely people who are sensitive to rose and specifically rose watery scents. And if you are one of those people, I would not recommend a rose. I think that kind of goes without saying, but just in case, just in case anyone's watching who was thinking about it, you really have to like rose water to like this. I, and I love it. This would be again one where I wouldn't rush out to purchase it, but if I found it for a deal, or if I, ha if I was gifted it, or, you know, if I, came across it somewhere and I was in the mood to purchase it, I would definitely go ahead and do that because it's so beautiful and it's so nostalgic for me. So then the third one I've got here is Blanche by Byredo and the next four I have are actually all from uh, Byredo. And this one, we're just gonna spray. This one had a lot of notes uh, listed. It has white rose, pink pepper, aldehydes, Violet, Neroli, Peony, Blondewood, Sandalwood, and Musk. And I love this fragrance. I have sprayed this in store and I asked specifically for a sample of this one because I just couldn't decide between this one uh, and a couple others that I'll talk to you in, about in just a moment and Bal d'Afrique. In the end, I bought Bal d'Afrique and if you watch videos on my channel, you know I absolutely love that scent. It completely reminds me of me. I wear it all year. But Blanche is beautiful. It's clean. It's that violet and neroli. I mean, those are two of my favorite scents in general. It's got sandalwood, which is my favorite woody scent. It's got white rose, which I've already spoken about. I love. It's aldehydic, but in the most soft and powdery and airy way. The aldehydes are not like Chanel number no. five aldehydes or Madison Soiree aldehydes from Bond number no. nine. They're not sparkling, they're not sharp, they're just soft. And then you get that beautiful clean white musk. I absolutely love this fragrance. I would 100% buy it, I almost did. Uh, and the sample just you know further extended that obsession. I really, really like it. If you like soft, clean, powdery, violety, neroli, you know, uh, rosy scents, I would absolutely recommend this. It's not rich, it's not deep. You're not gonna get any of those. It's kind of the exact opposite of Nissian from Parfum de Marly. It's just soft and feminine and it feels like a soft white blanket just been wrapped all around you and you spray like a violet perfume on it. Yeah, I really, really like this one. I would 100% buy it. Then we have In Florence, I think that's how you say it, by, by Rado. And this one is a very, very floral scent. It has rose petals, honey pink freesia, lily of the valley, creamy magnolia, and jasmine. And this is a, this is a very realistic floral. It kind of smells as if you've walked into the more floral area of a nursery or if you've got like if you've ever opened up those fridges where they keep bouquets in flower shops and you get that very strong scent of the you know the flowers but also the stems and the leaves and and the water that's now scented with all the different flowers it's a very very realistic not synthetic, rosy, floral perfume. And you you don't really get anything other than that. I found it interesting that it mentioned honey pink freesia. I'm not familiar with all the different types of freesia, but it does, I'm not sure if it's that 
particular flower but in in my experience it kind of that's the flower that I think the freesia brings a little bit more of sweetness to the entire thing but in general it's not a very sweet fragrance it's not a very fresh fragrance it's a little sweet and a little fresh but it's mainly just an extremely realistic bouquet of all of these flowers wrapped up in one this is a fragrance that I like but don't love to rush out and get I would much rather get blanche over this this is a fragrance that I would probably buy for my mom because she's obsessed with just very realistic floral scents and I like this enough to get it for myself if I find it on a deal or if I was gifted it then I would keep it but I would choose Blanche over this one from Byredo for sure yeah then uh, we've got Gypsy Water which uh, before I got in before I actually got all these samples of Byredo Gypsy Water was the one that everyone was talking about it was the one that I kept seeing reviews of online and uh, I think it was Tiffany D makeup by Tiffany D had bought it and really really liked it it was just getting a lot of hype I think part of it was because of the name gypsy water has just a really intriguing name to it you can't really imagine what it's gonna smell like it's not like old rose when you can kind of put two and two together but anyways so the notes for this one are bergamot lemon pepper juniper incense pine orris root amber and uh, sandalwood and oh and some vanilla and yeah I like it but I don't love it I think from the ones that I've mentioned now this is probably one of my lesser favorite ones it's it's, it's a clean citrusy slightly amber slightly incensey not even incense because I don't want you to think incense like in Nisean but just like a very soft ambery incense right at the base but in general it's just a very clean citrusy slightly green because of that pine and yeah and that orris root I mean it's nice it's not groundbreaking by any means but it's a really fresh fragrance that does very very well in heat and I like it enough that again I would get it if it was on a deal but I wouldn't rush out to get it and definitely even just within the Byredo line there are fragrances that I think are more interesting or more worth your money especially if you're buying them full price um, I would maybe just get a sample of this one to make sure you really really like it because it's quite a simple simple scent and yeah I like it but I don't love it and then finally the last but not least I think is actually my favorite of all of these today is Mojave Ghost and this one this was very very close second place after Baldefic and Mojave Ghost has Muskmallow, Sapodilla or Sapodilla Violet, sandalwood, magnolia, ambergris, and cedar. And I love musk, and I love violet, and I love ambergris, but Sapodilla actually intrigued me because I had never seen it in any of my other fragrances. And I looked it up, and it's a fruit that grows mainly in Central America and the Caribbean and in Mexico, and it smells like brown sugar, um, pears, peaches, and a little bit of brandy is what Sapodilla is supposed to taste and, and smell like. So I've obviously never had that fruit, but Mojave Ghost is delicious. I cannot get enough of it. It kind of has a little bit of that, it doesn't smell like Baldefric, but it has that quality to it where it's airy, but it's floral, and I just can't get enough of it. I had a really hard time choosing in between the two, and my second Byredo purchase will hands down be Mojave Ghost, unless they come out with something else that I absolutely adore. This is another one from the line that if I had to, I would purchase full price. It's just so beautiful. It's got violet, obviously, which is my favorite note, but it's just, I don't know, blended in the most beautiful way with the ambergris and the sandalwood. And I guess I really like Sapodilla because if it's a big part of this fragrance and what makes it so delicious to me, I really, really like it. So 
Mojave Ghost I would absolutely recommend as the best from these samples. So those were all my samples for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below and tell me if you like these kinds of videos. And as I say, I can do other ones and kind of carry on the series and show you the other samples that I have and take you through those scents. Thank you always for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.